Yo, it's your boy Six and welcome back to another self-working card trick tutorial. If you're watching this right now, I'm excited because that means my boy Xavier Spade has already dropped his new deck of cards, his first deck of cards uh, called Dead Hands, which is an incredibly gorgeous deck of cards that you can check out the images to the side of me somewhere here. Uh, it's available now, so if you wanna pick that up, go ahead, click the link down in the description and support my boy X uh, with his first deck of cards. Today's effect comes from a brilliant magician named Henry Christ. He was a magician from New York City, uh, worked for the MTA and did magic on the side, uh, passed away in Queens, New York, and I never got to meet him. Uh, he passed away before I was ever born. Uh, so a little bit before my time, sometime in the 1970s. And, uh, but he was a fantastic magician who came up with a lot of great ideas. Uh, today you're learning an effect from him titled Math Aces, which is a great effect, self-working, super simple, uh, but very, very clever. And it might actually fool you. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the performance and then get into the explanation. And as always, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos every single week. All right, here we go. This is Math Aces by Henry Christ. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards up just like this, and I'm gonna cut uh, maybe about 50%, maybe, I don't know, I need a few more cards. Like That's about 50-50, that works. Uh, the spectator's gonna be asked to name any number between one and 10. So they name a number, and let's say they name six. I'm gonna count through just like this. One, two, three, four, five and this would be six how cool would it be if these cards matched they don't that'd be that, that'd be impossible yeah it doesn't quite work that way but let's try maybe maybe we can see maybe we can get lucky with the coincidence maybe name another number, another number a higher number from 10 to 20. Uh, let's go with uh let's say they say uh 11. i'm gonna go to 11 so i go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11 how cool would it be if these cards match they don't they don't match it it, it just would it would it's a not it's not a very easy trick to do it's, it's very difficult actually uh so you know what Let, let's try some let's take this a step further you name two numbers you named 11 and you name six let's subtract those numbers 11 minus six would give us five let's try this if i count one two three four and five you know what they say the third time's a charm. Oh, look at this, a perfect match. Not only that, these are the numbers that you picked and you actually went ahead and found all four aces. That's a match you can't beat. And there you have it, that is Math Aces. All right, so now you wanna go ahead and take out the four aces from the pack. And uh, what I like to do is make sure that the aces are inside of the center, just like this. Uh, so the pair, the red aces are in the center. You can have the black aces in the center. Uh, whatever pair you put in the middle are the aces that appear, appear first uh, in the effect. Uh, so just like this, I have my aces and they're gonna go on top of the pack. And that's your setup, that's it. So now you can do whatever shuffles you want, maintaining uh, the cards on the top of the pack as we have now. All right, so all those shuffles, just keeping those four aces on top, ready to go. Now for this trick to work, all you have to do is uh, pretend to be estimating at first. So what I like to do is I'll cut off a bigger packet in the right hand, the top packet, just like this, and a smaller packet in the left hand. So they'll, they'll notice that. I'll say, yeah, let's try to get about two even piles. Uh, maybe, maybe that'll do it. And now that I've done that, I am set to go. All I have to do is peel off two cards from the top, pretend like they look even and say, yeah, that should work. And put the two packets on the table. Uh, that is just one way in which you can go ahead and get those uh, into position. So basically you're ending up in this position here. Uh, black ace, black ace, red ace, red ace, just like that. Uh, there's a number of ways you can do it. Uh, later on I'll show you how you can do it with the shuffle. Uh, this is just a really simple way to do it. Now you ask the spectator to name a number, uh, you know, a number up to 10. Uh, usually that'll get them to say seven or six or eight, whatever the case is. Let's say uh, in this case they go with five. So you go ahead and you start dealing together. You go one, two, three, four, and five. And at this point, you're now gonna flip these two cards face up and say, let's see how we did. No matches, unfortunately. Now, if it is a match, use that to your advantage. Make it look like it's part of the effect. Uh, in this case, it's not a match. Most of the time, it's not gonna be a match. You say, eh, uh, it, it was a worthy try. Now, what's gonna happen here, very important, these two cards are gonna go right back to where they came from, right back onto these center packets. 
and you pick up these packets and place them back on top of the deck. Uh, that is the first step. Now you say, you know what, name a higher number. You tell them to name a number uh, somewhere between uh, 10 to 20, and they name that number. So let's say in this case, they say 11. So now you count 11, doing the same process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Again, you flip these two cards face up and you show, ah, again, no matches. Uh, what changes for the method for this to work now is as opposed to flipping these face down like with the first time, when you take these cards, you're gonna put them on the outer packets now. So that's the important thing you have to remember for this effect to work, is you take these and you place them on the outer packets and now you cover those up. And then finally, you can tell the spectator uh, you named 11, you also named five. You know, well, let's try something. What's 11 minus five? And they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna tell you 11 minus five is six. So you're gonna count six. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they say the third time's a charm. Let's see how we did. And now you'll have the four aces. So you show the two red aces matching at first. And you say, actually, you know what? You're so good. You got all four aces. And there's a really simple way to make the aces appear for your effect using the spectator's numbers. A very clever routine. All you have to remember is that when you deal uh, and you show those last two cards for the second time, you place them on the outer packets, drop the cards on top and follow the routine. And all you have to do is have the name a number uh, from one to 10, then name a number from 10 to 20, subtract, and you are good to go. It is that simple. Uh, so I said I'll show you how we can set up these aces uh, with a shuffle as opposed to doing the peeling off the top. Uh, so the same concept is that you want to know which cards you're getting where. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same idea, setting up these four aces just like I did before. And now all I'm going to do is just as I talk and shuffle, I'm going to go ahead and do a milk shuffle. What is that? Well, when I go to shuffle like this, I'm actually going to squeeze. And I have another video that teaches uh, a lot of great routines with this that you should go look at if you haven't looked at it already, uh, in which you're going to peel off the back card. See my finger squeeze and it peels it off with it. And I'll just take a few more cards, give it a little shuffle, talk for a second, go back again, peel off the next card as I talk one more time, continue shuffling. And then from here, now you can just place those two packets on the table. And now you have the same setup, two red aces followed by two black aces. Same setup, like I said, the two red aces go in the middle. And now I just simply shuffle, take a few cards, milk shuffle, say, uh, I'm gonna, in a second, I'm gonna have you go through, then I peel it off again, and name a number between one and 10. And just doing those two shuffles, now I can go ahead and start the routine. And there you have it, a wonderful effect from Henry Christ, uh, known as Math Aces.